and welcome to chapter one, section five, graphing proportional relationships. Part of this lesson, I'm just going to review how to graph things because it's a little bit more of an in-depth review on that, but then I'll give you some activities that we can do with graphing now that you'll be reminded how to do it. So this situation here is called the Cartesian Coordinate System. I'm not going to write that down or spell it because I can't. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm pretty sure you all have seen this before. Uh, the X goes along the side, or is horizontal. The Y is the vertical. And when we write it, we write it in an ordered pair. So we write the X term first, and then the Y term. Okay. Um, the important point to know would be this one right here, that's the point zero, zero, and we start counting from there, from the center. Now some other interesting things that you probably don't need to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Oh, and then I'll also let you know, positive is to the right, and positive is up, which means left and down are negatives, and you should be very comfortable with your positives and negatives now. So hopefully that's not an issue. Some other interesting things about the Cartesian coordinate system is we actually count the sections counterclockwise. So this one that's positive, positive is, co is quadrant. I knew there was a word for that. One, and we count them in Roman numerals. So good thing I taught those to you earlier. Two, three, and four. Okay. I don't know why, but that's how it works. And when you get to trigonometry and you're doing your unit circle and all of that stuff, oh, this is going to be used. Okay? So, uh, if we remember graphing, let's just graph a couple points, kicks and giggles. Um, how about the point negative 3, positive 1? So this means we need a negative 3 on our x coordinate. So we start from 0 and we go to negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to go positive 1. And we put a point there. We'll call that one A and A. And then we could do the point. We'll call this one B. And we'll do negative 1, negative 2. Which means we're going to have a negative x and then negative y, so we're going to go down 2 and put the point right there. Okay, now on your assignment today, you're only going to be dealing with quadrant 1 with the positive numbers. So we'll practice one over there, point C. Let's call this one, um, how about 4, 2? Okay, so that means we're going to count over 4 and then up two. Okay, we call that one C. All right, so let me know if you have questions just on graphing on the coordinate system. This assignment is kind of short, and so I will also put up a fun little graphing picture for funsies to do. All right, now as this pertains to proportional relationships. Um, so yesterday or last lesson we talked about being proportional just with like a graph, a chart of numbers, okay? We can also tell if something is proportional. So on a graph, to be proportional, you need two things. Proportional is such a long word, and I read it so many times in this chapter. So two things you need. The first thing is it has to be a straight line And what that really means is there is a constant rate of change. Okay, you don't even have to write that part. I'm just throwing that in for your information. The other thing we need is for ha to have it go through the point zero, zero, okay? We need to start at zero, zero. So if it does not go, if your straight line or your crooked line, then it doesn't count, that one doesn't count at all. But if it does not go through the point zero, zero, it is not a proportional relationship. It can still be a straight line, but it's not a proportional relationship. So let's do an example 
trying to figure out which problem I have as an example here. <laughs> so we've got, oh, it's just this first one. The slowest mammal on earth is the tree sloth. Sloths are awesome. We enjoy sloths. Okay, it moves at a speed of six feet per minute. To determine whether the number of feet the sloth moves is proportion to the number of minutes. So feet to minutes, see if they're proportional. Okay, so first we make a table. So this is practice problem number one. We make a table, so we're gonna have time and distance for our sloth. I'm gonna write sloth. So remember, okay, so in one minute, it can move six feet. All right, then. So that means in two minutes, it can move 12 feet. In three minutes, it can move 13, four minutes, 24, and so on. Okay, so Looking at just the chart, we learned yesterday that these all reduce down to the same fraction, so the chart says that it is proportional. But let's make a graph because the graph is even easier to figure that out. Okay, and these graphs, again, you really only just need the first coordinate system. We're going to put time across the bottom and we're going to put distance on the side. Okay, so time, we're just going to count one, two, three, four, five. Um, distance, I think I'm going to count, by, in the book, they count by fours. I guess I could do that. So, four, eight, six, twelve, sixteen. I guess I can't count by fours. Well, we'll just do that. And then it'll be four and eight. And then these will be estimating. And the graphs are actually in for you in the book. And so it'll be fine. You'll be fine. We're all fine. 20, 24, 28. Hey, that's pretty good guessing. Okay. So now we can graph these points. So we go one here and six here, which is going to be just in between those two. And then we're going to go two and up to 12. And then we're going to go three. Oh, that's not 13. I'm like, why is that there? That's weird. That should be 18. That was close. I just didn't fill in those, those ends of the three, the 13. Yeah. Um, three goes to 18, which is in between 20 and 16 there. Four goes to 24. Okay, if we draw a line connecting those dots, in theory, does it make a straight line? That's as straight as Mrs. Sanford can draw right now. And so yes, it makes a straight line. And the second question, does it go through the point zero, zero? If the sloth has zero minutes, has it moved zero meters, zero feet? Then yes, it goes through point zero, zero. So yes, this is proportional. Okay, and that's basically what we're doing. Let's look at one more, and really, we can look at, I'm just going to, so we don't have to draw from the book anymore. Um, we're renting video games. So if we rent one game, it costs $3, two games is $5, three games is 7 4 is 9 So if those become our points, and we get these ordered pairs, then we can graph these points, and so one is at three, two is at five, three is at seven, and so on, okay? So we graph them, it makes a straight line, so that's good, but what's the problem on this one? It does not go through the point zero, zero, okay? And because of that, this is not a proportional relationship. So through the point zero, zero has to go. Um, this next one, I've already graphed the points. Um, 0, 0, 1 to 4, 2 to 8, 3 to 13. That one feels a little not following the pattern. If we followed the pattern, the 3 would probably be a 12, not a 13. Okay, so 0, 0 is there, which is good. 
and it would be a straight line to here, but then the angle changes. So this does not make a straight line. Therefore, this one is not proportional. Okay, and that's really the basic idea. On the assignment on math space, just to make sure you see the situation, and we're going to get to this in a couple of sections, is it's going to ask a question, does it follow this formula? This is a modified version of the formula of a straight line. So any straight line, that formula is y equals mx plus b. We'll talk about this. Um, K and M are really the same thing. They are slope, which is how steep this is. Slope is the same thing as the constant rate of change. Okay, so the plus B part, that's the adding something extra in. And this is the thing, if you have a number like this, that makes it not go through the point zero, zero. So if it's proportional, it's in this pattern. Okay. Um, so proportional, yes, this works. If it's not proportional, then no, this doesn't work. And uh, like I said, we're going to get into slope more in just a couple of sections. So hopefully that works out. And that's kind of the idea about graphing proportional relationships.